everyone and welcome to Soul Stay Unique. My name is Beth and I am here today to talk about the books that I finished in the past week. So let's go. The first two books I have to talk to you about are books I read with my daughter. So we have a guest star. She's here to talk to us about Kylie Jean, Football Queen, and Whatever After, Book One, Fairest of All. So we're going to start with Marcy Peschke's Kylie Jean, Football Queen, which is like the seventh or eighth Kylie Jean book we've read. Yeah. Yeah. We do not remember it. We do remember it. You don't remember it. Yeah. Um, we, it took a really long time for us to read this because we just got super busy and it's a chapter book so there were nights when we didn't read our chapter um however this is about kylie jean and her big brother is on the football team and in texas football is a huge deal like huge and so it talks about she's gonna be one of the little dancers during a halftime show but she doesn't want to have to leave the stands and stop cheering for her brother to go do the halftime show so even though she's going to be the homecoming dancer, she decides she'd rather support her brother and she wins the biggest fan award. So it's actually really fun. Kylie Jean is a great series that we highly recommend and Elena gives it eight five stars. Five out of five stars. I give it four out of five stars, but it's still a really awesome book. The next book is Whatever After Fairest of All, this is book one in the Whatever After series by Sarah Milnowski. And I'll let Elena tell you what she thought of it first. This is the Snow White book. It's a Snow White retelling. And Elena, you thought... That was good, and I'm giving it a 10. She's giving it a 10 star. She loved it. I love it so much. I want more to read today. We're going to go ahead and try book two. Um, probably in an audiobook when we start school in two and a half weeks, because uh, we do have a 30 minute drive to get there and then 30 minutes back. I give it a two and a half stars. Two. Um, I think I gave it a three stars on Goodreads because it's not a two star book. It is closer to a three star, but the main character drove me insane. By the end of the book, she was a little better, but she still drove me absolutely bonkers did not like her felt like it was just a very very unlikable protagonist and part of that is due to the fact that she has just moved and so she's in this area where she doesn't she doesn't know what the kids do because she's from a different part of the states and so these kids call things by different names and they play freeze tag instead of regular tag and she just is not happy about it but I still don't like the way she went around it. Um, so yeah, she gave it a five stars and I gave it a two and a half. Okay, so those are the only books she needs to talk to you about. So we're going to say goodbye to her now. Bye. Bye bye. And then I have two more books to talk to you about. The first one I finished was Crime and Punctuation, A Deadly Edits Mystery by Caitlin Dennett. This is the first in the series. And while I did like it, I found that basically the book could have been uh, about half the size it was and there were a lot of extraneous details that might come into play later on in the series but for the book itself just really didn't have to be there. I also give this one about a two and a half stars. I think I rated it three on Goodreads but it may have been closer to a two star for me. I do like the protagonist. She is a I believe 68 year old woman. And she's moved back home to Lenape Hollow in the state of New York from where she'd been living in Maine with her husband. Her husband passed away. She moved back, bought her childhood home, and is kind of reconnecting with her friends that she grew up with and graduated with 50 years ago in Lenape Hollow. And the, it's cute, but like I said, it's definitely could have been a novella. Way too many details in it. And reading that book actually threw me into a funk on writing my book because I'm currently writing a cozy mystery and I was like, maybe I'm not putting in enough detail. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, but 
I came to the conclusion that while this is a cute book, it is definitely a very, very cozy, cozy mystery meant for older cozy mystery readers. And my book has a protagonist that is 33. Her friends are all in their 30s, late 40s in that age range. So definitely going to be different from that book. And that's fine. So yes. The final book I have to talk to you about today is Sarah Pineas's, uh Lost Books, The Scroll of Kings. This is a new 2018 release. And so I don't know when the second book in the series is going to come out. But I honestly cannot wait. This book, absolutely beautiful, action-packed, well-written, amazing, wonderfulness. Uh, Alex is a 15-year-old who has run away from home because his family is full of soldiers. And he doesn't want to be a soldier. He wants to be a librarian. So he's wandering through the kingdom, being, trying to be a librarian, and a lot of things happen as he's kind of forcing his way through the kingdom, but he winds up kind of tricking his way into the palace, uh, the winter palace, and becoming a librarian there. And Queen Kinneret is a 16-year-old who has just taken her crown, so she's having to deal with a lot of things, and she doesn't really need to be dealing with the library, but, you know, books are coming to life and attacking people so she and Alex have to figure out what is going on. Absolutely action-packed. I've said it twice. It is action-packed. It is well-written. It pulls you into the story. It moves you along. And I just, I loved it so much, guys. I gave it a four and a half stars. And I may go back and give it a five stars. Uh, it was fabulous. I cannot wait for the next book in the series. But I'm going to have to. That's all I have for you guys today. Those four books are what we finished this week, and we're going to go take them back to the library and see what other trouble we can get into. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and let me know what you've been up to lately. Talk to you again soon. Bye.